Georgia. Georgia. Hey, folks. It's uh, Wednesday, February 23rd. I just said that two seconds ago. And um, we're here for our fourth, or fourth day, right? Fourth day mm -hmm. camping at West Point Lake Campground um, in Georgia, West Point, Georgia. Beautiful day today. Started out earlier this morning, rain and some overcast, but um, all in all, it turned out gorgeous. And I think tomorrow's going to be gorgeous too. Maybe get, get up to the 80s. So, um, yeah, we're having a great time again. Look at that gorgeous the, that sun behind us. You know, we figured we'd pick the the day to uh, do this. I got to adjust this. Uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Perfect. And then we have somebody on the boat. Yeah, there's somebody out there too. floating around. <laughs> yeah, so the fish must be out there biting. We're gonna try a little later and uh, see if we get some fish. But um, all in all, it's a gorgeous campground. We're having we're having a great time. So what we decided to, to do this blog blog what is it called blog or blog Video. blog um, is the pros and, and cons of uh, tent camping versus uh, trailers. So I know a lot of these you know are, are or biased and you know you you know you're more leaning to one or the other but um, we came up with a list and we thought uh, you know they each had uh, their own unique uh, ways of camping and um, this is uh, this is what we came up with so let's start with tent tent mm. camping right so um, we'll start with pros the pros so go ahead the pros it's cheap the setup is easy and quick uh, I can't even read my writing. <laughs> That's why I said go ahead. <laughs> it's, and uh, oh, you don't have you know, all that gas to use. Right, you don't have to wear a tear. There's no vehicle, wear and tear. You know? Yeah, um, you don't have the extra weight and stuff like that. You get to see the stars that night. Yeah, I mean, we had, we had our camper. tent actually had a uh, screen on the roof, mm -hmm. right? So you can actually lay there and, and look at the stars as you go to sleep, so, which is pretty cool, mm -hmm. you know? And the, I mean, you're right there. It's like, yeah. Uh, you know. And you're right there with nature. Yeah, which we'll get to the, some of the cons on that. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's 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 nice. You know, tent camping, you know, you could get into spots that a trailer, you can't get a trailer into, mm -hmm. you know? Um, even some, some folks go to as far as, you know, hiking in and tent camping like on the Appalachian mm -hmm. Trail and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, you know, we're not opposed to tent camping. Mm -hmm. and we no, have we a lot it. of memories <laughs> of tent camping. We're still keeping our tent because we're, you know, there's going to be times we're going to say, hey, you know mm -hmm. what? Let's leave the trailer at home and uh, tent it. Let's tent it, you know. <laughs> so, since we're uh, experts on it now. <laughs> After a whole year of having the tent, we finally figured out the easiest way to put it up put it, put it up <laughs> without fighting back and forth with the poles you know um yeah i don't know it came to me in the dream one day <laughs> but uh some of the cons uh go the weather the yeah weather's definitely uh like we had weather here the other night and it was cold it was pouring and i was like hey you know just imagine if we were in a tent right now we'd be building a little shanty mm -hmm. trying to keep warm and it, you know, sometimes you give up when the weather, the, the, the wood's too wet, you know, mm -hmm. and just everything's smoking because it's wet. Sometimes you just say, all right, let's just go to bed, you mm -hmm. know, call it a day. Um, the and, wildlife and, will eat your food. Yeah, yeah, you got to, you know, like if you do a lot of dispersed camping, you got to make sure you put that um, that food in Even in campgrounds, so. you have to put the food away. Yeah, yeah, we were in, uh, what, Pine Grove, right? Mm -hmm. There was a high bit bear activity, so, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, you got to put it up. You don't want to keep it in your tent, you know, mm -hmm. because the last thing you want is a bear running, running yeah. through your tent for, the, for, you know, your Fritos or whatever. So, wildlife. And then, uh, what else we the got? The cleanup. Yeah, yeah putting it away is tough because if you're packing up on a day you're leaving and it's raining, then you got to kind of go home. You got to unpack it. Mm -hmm. Set it up. You got to give it, you know, a couple of days to dry out because if you put it away wet, you know, you're going to get, get the mold, mold, and you might as well just throw it out at that point, mm -hmm. you know. So. You can seal your tent, though. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah you, you know, every so often you should seal it. They got the weatherproof sealing on there. We did it a few times. It seemed like mm -hmm. it seemed to help. And you get back to the weather, though, and, and you know, it's, it's 
we've camped in 19 degrees. You know, last year, last February, mm, we were in Vogel State Park here. in Georgia, and it was 19 mm -hmm. degrees, you know, so um, it was cold. You know, we slept with our clothes on. That's how cold it was. And uh, we had a little heater going on, propane heater, but, man, mm, it was cold. It was still cold. You know, and the hail was hitting, hitting the mm -hmm. roof, you know. It, uh, you know, you always, you know, especially when the winds come up, you know, you always worry mm. about, um, you know, a tree branch yeah. coming down, cutting and tying middle. down your tent, you know, so it doesn't blow away. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we went the last time we went in November. You see our videos, November rain. Um, we uh tied it down, we came back, and half the tent, tent was uh, mm. you know, smushed, but, pulled uh, up. <laughs> Uh, what else we got on the list? No, no heat, bathroom. You know, yeah, no, no bathroom. Yeah, you, know, you ain't got a bathroom. You know, you're using the woods or you're using a state park or campground facilities. Um, so you know that that convenience it was never a big deal. But you know, after two or three days, your part my partner might think it's a big deal when you're smelling like a horse. You know, so <laughs> um, yeah, you, know, you, you gotta you know the hygiene's not always there so let's move on to the rv mm -hmm. the travel trailer so we're going to go on our list now um to the pros and cons on rvs the travel trailers and the toy rollers and everything else pros. the pros so uh, comfort our, our own comfort. home comfort is class a i'll tell you what our bed in this trailer travel trailer is better than one at home you know taking naps and i don't want to get we out of that naps bed. today yeah, we did, <laughs> we did. You know, and uh, that's what we should do, you know. You know, be lazy, you're on vacation. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the comfort, you know, even when it's raining, you know, this thing's got two TVs mm -hmm. in it. You know, you we have up, a stove and an oven, TV. Yeah, refrig, right? You know, you got the showers, the, yeah. you know, the toilet and stuff like that, you know. Um, out of the elements, you know, the, it's definitely the comfort. That's the second comfort. one, out of elements. Mm -hmm. When it rained. Mm -hmm. All we did was go in there and watch TV. Yeah, I mean, I mean at night you get to sit there comfortable mm -hmm. on the kitchenette and uh, play cards and yeah. you know, know that you know it's uh, and we weren't running a night's sleep. Yeah, to put up tarps and stuff and cover the fire to yeah. keep it dry yeah. for the next Late, day. Not waking up to everything that's wet, you know. <laughs> um, it's definitely comforts big, you yeah. know. On it. What else we got? Sleeping, running we talked water, about that. Yeah, you know, the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom here is good and the hot water. You know, yeah. hot water on this travel trailer is uh, second hot. to none. You know, it's hot. You know, so you got to be careful. I haven't figured out where the thermostat was, and I really haven't been interested in it. Mm -hmm. I'm taking my showers at the. Uh, I'm gonna take my showers here. here. She <laughs> takes it out here. Yeah. So, I'm a little bigger, I'm so. I'm a six-minute yeah. shower yeah. kind of person. Yeah. Yeah, and it's only six gallons, so guess who's going to be taking a cold shower at the end of the day? This guy. I like to, you know, leave these locks together, like the flow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, you know, this I'm a big guy, you know, so there's a lot to wash. Uh, what else we got? Uh, self-contained. So it's self-contained, you know, so even if you're <laughs> even if you're dispersed camping, you know, we get a uh, fresh water tank you can fill up, and then you have your uh, mm -hmm. black tank and your gray tank. So, um, you know, you could definitely um, still live comfortable, you know, dispersed mm -hmm. camping. Where with the tent, you're not, you know. I mean, you know, we're, we got the Home Depot bucket with the, the lid on it and, you know, and, uh, a little baggy, and mm -hmm. away we go, you know. And then like that or, or dig a pit toilet, you know, and uh, or they call it a cat hole, right? Mm -hmm. and go like that, so. It's just definitely, uh, definitely, uh, the cons on it is the maintenance. Maintenance, yeah. Maintenance is, is huge. You know, it's, it's, uh, you know, well, we got a double axle, you know, it's 27 and a half feet. Uh, with everything in it, it weighs probably 7,600 pounds. Um, which we don't have that much in no. it. So we're probably, we're probably weighing in. I didn't go to a cat scale. We're probably weighing in about 6,500, my estimate. But, you know, if we get a toy hauler, you know, we're going to have to Harley with us. And it's going to be another thousand pounds on top of that, you know. And if you go disperse camping, you're going to be holding 30 gallons of water, you know. So that times eight is right. You know, we're going to have almost 250 gallons of, uh, mm, of so fresh how many water. Pounds of water is that? Yeah. Well, it's 8.3 pounds per gallon, you know. So, you know, if you do the math, it's probably coming at almost 250 pounds. 
not exact, you know, but uh, it's, it's pretty close. Yeah. And then uh, wear and tear on your vehicle. Wear and tear on a vehicle, you know. And yeah. then, like I said, we we broke down. And I'm not sure if you know the trailer had anything to do it you know, versus my driving, but you know it's it's anything else. The mm -hmm. brakes, you know, wear and tear on the brakes, gas mileage. I mean, we spent three hundred twenty dollars just to get down here, you know, and gas, you know. Um, and I'm not going to get political, but the gas prices are up, you know, and uh, it could be, you know, you know, who's running the country. I don't know. I don't, I don't get involved in that, you know, either or it doesn't matter. You know, you got to pay. It's a commodity you need. Yeah. And, and you, you can't know, get you into pay. places, you know, for gas, like a regular yeah. gas station. You know, it's kind of hard. Yeah, you ain't going to rinky dink, you know, Joe's gas station mm -hmm. down the road. You know, you're, you're, you're pulling a 30 footer plus your car is probably good. 15 feet you know you're mm. it's 40 feet of vehicle you got to get around this these islands and stuff you know without tearing mm. tearing the gas pumps down or tearing the side of the, side of the mm. uh, or jack knife in it jack knife and yeah so and then another cons too like to disperse <coughs> camping you know you, you know we like to disperse camping you know it's free but um you know we're limited you know to where we were unlimited Space before wise, you know yeah. we could go anywhere do anything with the tent you know and we still do as far as you know going with tents but you know with the trailer you're 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 limited to where you can we can go with it you know and some state parks and campgrounds only you know the, the ones with the big rigs i mean we've we've seen some of them are like 37 40 feet 42 50 right yeah. almost 50 feet some of these trailers they got three axles and it's they're, insane, you yeah, know. And they're the size you know, of a house. They're pulling them with, you know, tractors, you know, like, uh, you know, like semis, you know, and, um, you know, and then a lot of places won't won't take it. You know, you're just too big, you know, and uh, I mean, there you know, you have 50 amp, 50 amp yeah. electrical services. I mean, hell, most houses only run on 60 tops, mm. you know. I mean, at least ours does, but um, even though we have a 200 amp service at home, but. Our trailer's rated for 30 amps, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, we changed all the LEDs, all the lights out to LEDs, I should say. And we keep a bare minimum on. So mm -hmm. if we're drawing 20 amps, that's, you know, we're lucky. I mean, they're plugged in at home and on the 20 amp circuit, didn't mm -hmm. trip the circuit. So um, that's with the heater and everything running. So I think we're good there. But um, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a lot heavier. It's uh it's the, you get the sway back and forth when you're driving. Sherry's gonna do a little driving mm -hmm. on the way back. You know, she's gonna get the feel of it because you got to. I mean, God forbid, you know, if I got sick or something mm -hmm. like that, she needed to roll. Roll, you know. I, I got all the confidence it. in the world that so she could do it. If there's any woman in this world that can pull that trailer, this one can. She could probably drive it better than me. I'm sure we're not gonna break down, but we don't you know, have cruise control. No, but I uh. Use it. <laughs> But yeah, you know, it, uh, I think the maintenance is the biggest thing. You know, we've watched a bunch of YouTube videos of people putting cameras in there, and it, it is, they're right. It's uh, it's like an earthquake, you know, on wheels. You know, when you're when you're rolling, I mean, everything's shimmy shaking. You know, well, hell, we weren't even moving, and your your sign broke. You, yeah. know, uh, you know, when he left to go to the bathrooms up there this morning, and the blind is the blind that came in place. So we didn't fix it yet and it falls down easily but as soon as he we were sitting on the couch because it was raining and we got up off the couch and then as soon as he left the blind fell and the sign fell off yeah. the wall and yeah. broke it in half oh, we're just gonna try so, to glue it fix it i'm sure yeah. she'll fix it but figure it out you know yeah. I mean, we thought we got some industrial velcro velcro but the shit you know we'll put that in the link not to buy yeah. you know um but if anybody has any suggestions on, you know, Velcro or you know, fasteners like that, you know, for the trailers, uh, please reach out, you know, because this is all new to us, you know, mm -hmm. when it comes to, you know, this uh, trailer life, the RV life, you mm -hmm. know. But we love it, you know, we love it, and, uh, you know, we're headed in the right direction, and hopefully soon mm -hmm. we can retire, and then they could do this, uh, we could do this uh, yeah. full time, you know. Um, Bring our grandkids and, and, yeah. and, and have fun and <laughs>, laughs and you know just uh, love life our way. Mm -hmm. You know that's what it's about. You know so if you folks are sitting here watching that and you you're sitting on your couch saying, "Man, you know 
I'd love to do that, you know, or you know, that sounds like a great yeah, idea. Just get out and do it. Just do it. You know, start anywhere. Start yeah. with a small pop up, smart start with a tent, anything, you know. Just get out and do it. You know, and just enjoy the great yeah. I, you know, outdoors. You know, we post the pictures on Facebook. Um it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah it is. With the stars at yeah. night. It's it's gorgeous. And I can't wait till we get out west, like yeah. you know, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, you know, when you're See out the, in the desert and you're you're, you're looking at it. it's a whole different world the out Brown there. mountain lights and things like yeah. that, yeah. So uh, I think that's Lake. about the uh, wraps Grand it up. Grand Canyon. Yeah. We're going to go to the Grand yeah, Canyon. Definitely. Yes. And like the Brady Bunch, we're going to uh, ride donkeys down the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Burrows. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, stay tuned because I can't fix, I can't fix anything and I got a cut on my nose. So, it's all fun, you know, and, uh, you know, it just, uh, you know, you just, life is too short. You know, you can't wait till tomorrow to do something. Mm. You know, I've, we've both seen so many people pass in our lives, you know, waiting for that perfect, perfect time, mm. to, you know, and you do and it. And it's hard. And it, it is, you know, the anxiety's up. You know, I know for me, it, you know, like just uh, not having that sense of security when you retire, like, you know, um, you know, the overtime or your, the job, you know, and so you got to, really have a budget and stick to that budget because you know you're only going to get you know you're on a fixed income now that's you know the money's not uh, unlimited um so uh with that i'm going to uh, we're going to i'm going to i'm going to go tend gonna to go the go fire <laughs> sherry's going to go tend to the fire we're going to have we have for dinner tonight. We're having pork tacos. Pork tacos. Yeah. Her and sister so Heidi was uh, nice enough to give us a nice pork roast uh, mm -hmm. last night, so we threw that on the grill, and we grilled that. We smoked it. That was. Uh, oh, yeah. We had some. We had it for breakfast. We had yeah. the sausage or pork and egg yeah. roll up. Delicious, delicious. You know, and then we had a healthy lunch. Salad. You know, salad with cucumbers and tomatoes and stuff like that. Got a little exercise in. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you yeah, know, we'll have a little tacos and maybe we'll play a little, you know, Mexican music. You know, mm -hmm. you know <laughs> so we'll think we're at the, uh, you know, You're Ria Maya. Yeah, yeah, Ria Maya or something <laughs> like that, you know. Aliva uh, 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 Mexico or whatever that is. <laughs> I should shut up now, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna go, for folks. But so, but yeah, you know, that's all, folks. We're gonna go now, and yeah. um, you all have I a got great the night. Clicker. And she's got the clicker. <laughs> have a good, great night, and uh, stay tuned. Remember, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And don't, you know, don't hesitate to comment too. We love to read some comments. Yeah. You know, Whether on things we're doing. Good or bad. Yeah, things we're doing. You know, Wrong. that suck. Things yeah. that yeah, we should be doing. You know, things that make you laugh, you know, things that make you sad, you know. Uh, I don't think we make anybody sad, but we're out of here. It's over. I love you. <laughs> Loving life our way. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. See you the next time. Uh, we're still on. We're still on. Nope. Just an old sweet song.